Women's gold medal, Lisa Carrington. That's incredible. Isn't it? Well spoken. She's um she's such an icon of the sport and such a, a leader of, of women's kayaking. She's a dame now as well. It's dame Lisa Carrington. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a funny little thing we do in these Commonwealth countries. Uh, but sometimes we just, sometimes I forget to call her Dame Lisa, but you're supposed to refer to her as Dame Lisa. I don't think she particularly likes being called Dame Lisa, but uh, it is a recognition for just what she means for the sport in New Zealand. And come the Olympics, she will be the one of the, if not the poster child for the, uh, or poster athlete for the New Zealand team. Yeah, she certainly works hard and she, she reaps the rewards. Right, so now we have the women's C2 500. Again, another Olympic event. Interestingly, Riley, there are nine boats in this race. Uh, eight of them. Eight of them will qualify for the Olympics. So the only boat that will miss out, of course, and again, it comes back to um, who has been in other results races etc but the the boat that finishes last will miss out on a quota yeah. for uh, for the Olympics next year so a lot it, of pressure there is a lot of pressure it's a really interesting field um, but I have to say I have to say I can't see the Chinese combination Zhu and Sun being beaten they they won the gold in Tokyo they've not been beaten since Tokyo they are world leaders in this sport. They're just so efficient with their paddling technique and so effective on the water. There they are, the reigning world champions, the reigning Olympic champions. Just, Crazier things have happened today. For, well, already, <laughs> we've seen crazy things happen. Sloane McKenzie and Katie Vincent, well... We know how good they are. We do know how good they are. We're sharing a hotel with them. There's a, bit of, there's a good vibe about them. But these two young ladies here, Anthea Jacomi and Maria Corbera, they were very good in their heat. And of course the Cubans, well you could never discount the Cubans. At the front of the boat there is the women's C1 200 world champion. Uh, could the Cubans, I, I don't know that the C2 is the particularly strong heart and strong suit, but uh, we'll see how they go. The poles of course always go well and well Ludmilla Luzan should be disappointed in her race in the C1. So I'm expecting her to really put something big on today for the C2, of course. Sun's Metal out. The sun like, is out. It's looks like the wind's switched around again. We're going back to tailwind. Back to a tailwind for the C2 women. Uh, at the top of the course, we didn't mention in, in the introduction that the boat from Germany, Lisa Yard and Hedy Klemke from Germany. The Hungarians, of course, they have been very, very good this year. They've won medals at the European Championships and World Championships last year. Giado Brigato and Blanca Nagy. Much improved combination. There they are there from Hungary. Next to them, the Moldovans. Pocho and Olorisi, then the Chinese. The Canadians next to them, the Spaniards, the Cubans, Poland and Ukraine. Eight of these boats will earn quotas for the Olympics next year. And gee, this, I tell you what, Riley, sometimes it's hard to fathom that this was only introduced to the Olympics in Tokyo. It's become such a strong event. Yeah, very competitive. And truly global when you look at where these, uh, where these crowds, these fans have come from. So we are underway, and it is in the middle of the field, the Chinese paddlers, who will go out the hardest. Next to them, it is Canada. The Spaniards are the ones, though, mm. that are pushing in early, and they've taken an early lead, the Spaniards. They were very good in their, in their heats. Could they cause an upset? Jacoby and Corbera both paddling on the same side of the boat, yeah. which has become a lot more common. Not as unique as we used to think. Well, of course, the previous uh, Canadian combination of Vincent Lapont and Vincent used to do it all the time as well. But they're both on the same side of the boat here. And they are in front. It's the Spaniards taking it out to the Chinese. Have they gone too hard, though, too early? It's Spain in front, just to China. Canada sitting in third. Hungary fourth as we get to the halfway stage. It's Spain in front. Now the Chinese start to get down to business. It's 
possibly China now put their nose in front. The Spaniards trying to go with them. It's very hard to go with Olympic and world champions, though. It's China now starting to assert their authority on this race. The Spaniards aren't going away without a fight. Canada coming through in the middle. They are giving a bit of cheek. Some pressure on them. Katie Vincent tried to lift this Canadian boat, but it's the Chinese in front. They look like they've got themselves into a good rhythm now. The Canadians are the ones throwing it down. The Spaniards trying to hold on. It's China in front. The Spaniards lifting again, though. Maybe the China. Oh, the Chinese have gone a bit off their... The Chinese oh, no. have lost direction a little bit here. What's happening here? They've... Oh, oh my god. That finish was so close. And no one wants to miss out on that last Olympic quota. Poland. Looks like Poland's going to miss out. The Chinese have taken a swim. Well, they lost total direction at the end. I don't know what happened there. You could, I mean, they still won. Yeah. Very scrappy at the end, but they looks like they've snuck over for a win. They they started to go. They started to go across their lane there. It was quite a bizarre situation. They just totally lost their direction, but. I think that the Spanish got the second, did they, ahead of Canada? That's yeah. That's a big race for the Spaniards to hold on. But no doubting about our winners. I, I want to see the last 25 metres of that race because the Chinese just totally lost the compass. It started to... I wonder whether there was a an issue there with the boat, but uh, just throwing it all down. They were so desperate to get to that finish line and they just... Look at that. It's poetry in motion. Isn't it? Sloane McKenzie in the front there. Katie Vincent behind her. Look at this. Look where the Chinese are heading. Oh, wow. Spain second, Canada third. And as we mentioned, the boat to miss out, we think, has been... Uh, well, actually, maybe it was Ukraine. Wow. Wow. I say wow because... Ukraine was one of the powerhouses of women's canoe and I think from memory Ludmilla Lausanne missed out on an individual quota yesterday and I think she's also missed out here on a C2 quota. Just scrambling back into the boat. No power to lift those legs up no. anymore. It's too hard. It's all too hard. But uh, the rescue boat has the Chinese now. They're asking, did we get first? Yes, you did. Are we disqualified? No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You just snuck in in your lane. So Chinese pretty happy, though, with their win, but the Spanish very happy with their silver. You can see uh, Jacomi there in the front of the boat. She's had a good weekend. And a silver medal. There is confirmation. Zhu and Sun, the world and Olympic champions, taking the goal.